If my day is not productive and not the way that I imagined, I always feel like a failure. Which is crazy, because as a friend who has a bad day, I would never think of them as a failure or think of them as lazy. I just think they are having a bad day, a bad week, and eventually they will go back to being normal and being them again. But I don't want that standard for myself, because I want every day to be a success for me. Since that's easier than thinking about a successful year. If every day is a success, then the whole year is a success. Which is why I wanted to create this video, because I want to talk to you guys about productivity and how I became productive and how you can manage to become productive. Because I get that question a lot. For a lot of people, my days may seem regular because that's what I publish. But on top of my 9 to 5 job, I also create content, I also have a business that I'm starting, and I also work on my personal coding project. So basically, I code every single night. And if you really think about it, there is a lot that I need to do. Now, on top of those stuff, I am also a human being, so I also have other needs, which means I have to eat, I want to work out, so I basically have to go get groceries, cook and clean and basically do a lot of things because at the end of the day, there's nobody that can do these things for me. I have to do them myself. And in this economy, eating out is not always the option. I mean, you cannot eat out every single day. It's not good for your body and not for your bank account. So I basically have to cook and clean and do all of those stuff. And all of these stuff takes a lot of time. So how do I manage to do all of this in one day? Let's check it out. As you guys can tell, there is a lot that I need to do during the week, which is why I always plan my weeks. So no matter what happens, every single Sunday, I sit down and plan out my week. Basically, when do I need to work out? What workouts I want to do that day? When do I go grocery shopping? When do I cook? Because I meal prep usually. So I like to prep my meals beforehand so I don't spend a lot of time during the day cooking and cleaning and doing all this stuff. So I have time for everything else. And during this planning, I also consider my 9 to 5 job. I consider my business, content creation. When do I want to do like my coding projects and all of that. So basically everything that I want to do for that week, even like if you want to go out with friends and all of it, everything I plan on Sunday. The reason why I plan everything beforehand is because it just makes it easier for me to know what day I'm doing what so that I can focus on everything else. Because for me, my job and the things that I do for my business and my side projects are way, way more important than going grocery shopping. So if I have just one day per week that I can get groceries really fast and then cook really fast and then be done with it for the whole week, that's the plan and I love to do that. So at the end of the day, it's all about how you can be more efficient with your time and how you can use every single minute of the day to achieve what you want to achieve. And of course, we don't want to burn out. So we have to take breaks every now and then. I take breaks every now and then. And if I want to take breaks, in between my days, I need the weekly plan. I need to understand that like in a specific day, Mondays, I have to go grocery shopping and I don't have to think about it for like a whole week. And that's the plan to plan your week properly. I also want to say next to my weekly planning, I also plan up my days. So every single night, I'll sit down and plan what I want to do the next day. Because sometimes there are tasks on that list that I can do in two minutes right then and there. For example, when it comes to editing a video or editing a reel, I just do it in bed really quickly and then be done with it so I don't have to do it the next day. That's why I always plan at night and not in the mornings. Of course, you can choose for you which one's the best. So basically either plan your day at night beforehand or plan your day when you're starting out. So in the morning after you've had your coffee, just sit down and write down your to-do list. That is also possible. But for me, I think a night beforehand makes way, way more sense and I'm way, way more productive that way because I know the minute that I wake up, what I have to do and what I need to get done. And I can also basically time manage everything. So I know that a task is going to take me like an hour to work on so I can put it like first and do get that done. And then the smaller tasks, I can do them as fast, quickly, back to back without breaks. I'm aware that a lot of people don't have a problem with planning their days. They have a problem with being productive. I mean, if the productivity problem was solved, there wouldn't be so many books coming out every single day. So many 
method, productivity methods coming out every single day. That's why there are a lot of productivity methods. That's why there are a lot of productivity books, blogs, YouTube channels, all of that. Productivity is a personal thing. So it basically depends on the person and on the individual. I cannot tell you that the things that help me, the things that keep me productive are going to keep you productive. So I basically cannot help you personally with that. And that's unfortunate. But what I can do is give you tips and tricks on how I found my way to become more productive. And maybe that will help you as well. Also, when it comes to planning, please keep in mind that you can always plan your month ahead. But I have never done that and I don't do that. I think I did that once and it didn't help a lot because every single week it changes for me. And I want to do it differently. And sometimes I have spontaneous plans, which is a week beforehand. So... I know to write them down and I cannot plan my monthly. I wish I could, but I cannot. So um, if you know what you're doing for the month or like the whole month, what your plan is, then plan your month uh, if it helps you, but it doesn't help me a lot. So that's why I don't do it. And I stick to a weekly planning. I mean, you can always do like a monthly planning, a weekly planning and a daily planning that works as well. But I would just stick to the weekly and daily you can always do daily alone as well. But I think having an overview of your week and understanding what you need to do helps you way, way more than just having a daily one. The only method that I can say helped me become way, way more productive last year was the 12-week year method because throughout that method, I became way more productive and I understood what I need to do every single day. I already talked about this method for such a long time, I've been talking about it for like the whole year and in every single video, I at least mention it once because it genuinely helped me, but that's like one productivity method from thousands out there. So at the end of the day, you need to try out as many methods as you can, because that's what I did. Before the 12 week year method, I tried out a ton of other methods, which did not help at all. So the 12 week year method was something that changed my life and that made me become way, way more productive than I was before. And I'm still using it and I'm still loving it. So maybe just check that one out. But at the end of the day, you need to try out as many methods as you can and see which one works for you. Because the methods that work for me will not work for you. The methods that work for your friend will not work for you because the productivity problem is an individual's problem. Because I can't solve it for you and neither can anybody else. The only thing that you can do is try everything for yourself and see which one works for you. And if any other productivity guru tells you different or tells you that they can solve the productivity problem for you, just know that they're lying because the productivity problem is unsolvable because it's your problem and you need to solve it for yourself. And your solution is going to be different from everyone else's solution. So always keep that in mind when you watch videos regarding productivity. So if an individual or a creator just tells you that they solved the productivity problem, they solved it for themselves, they didn't solve it for you. You can always watch the videos. I mean, I make that type of videos. You can always watch the videos and get inspired by them and just see what methods they have tried and try it for yourself. But at the end of the day, you will need to do it. You need to put in the work to be more productive. You can't just watch a video and be productive. That's not how it works. We need to try out methods and become more productive. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will link every single template that I use in this video in the description down below. You can just download it and use it and be more productive.